Hi guys, this is Dre TV, and today we're going to do some kayaking. And these are our kayaks here, and um, we're going to head across in the Chagaramas area. We're going to go to the Five Islands and do some footage across here. So I'm in my gears right now, my short pants, a long sleeve for the sun, a cap for the sun as well. Um, a little safety gears, um, a little watch just in case um, I need to track the time. So we're going to initially do our two hours and we're heading out to the five islands. So this is JTV, this is the kayaking center here. We have kayaks, we have um, dragon boats, and this is the shadow atmosphere right next to the pool. Pastor's pool. So guys, this is what the ocean looks like this morning. This is a Saturday morning and it's just about 6.45 a.m. So we're about to head out to the kayaking experience today. The journey of a thousand miles starts with one paddle at a time. So we're making progress guys. As you can see, Andreas is way ahead of me. He has a lot of experience in this. But it's all about enjoying the view, having a good time, relaxing, and most of all staying active, staying fit. So you can see the ships out there. You can see the birds flying around the trees and the mountains and all the islands. Beautiful sunrise, or the beautiful sun, I should say. So, guys, we have just approached the first island, the main island, biggest one. And um, just is in one piece. <laughs> I'm in one piece. So, just hovering here in the water in front of this island and um, there's a lot of pelicans and a lot of kobo on the island. Um, kayaks are under rock a little bit, but I want a light jacket. Safety is important and they come with a body so that you don't wear any unnecessary trouble on the outside here. So guys, this is the island and you've seen a lot of birds seagulls and kobos and pelicans and these things all living in harmony on the outside here as I said this is not inhabited um, this is just a, an island for animals tierra, tierra, tierra land ahead and then bam we are going to duck into this island we have this one a couple more Tide is low, so you can see the little walkway between both islands there. This in there. People mark the name in the wall and thing, yeah? What the hell? A dead bird, I why? So Jesse is docking the kayaks. So one thing that is of grave importance when you come in these places, walk with proper these shoes. So guys, we just touched down on the first island. This is Dre TV, and we're gonna do some exploration. How was it, job, boy? It was nice, a little intense, but it was nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it was really intense, but nice. So we're just gonna do a little walking about on the islands. Now, first thing on the islands, a lot of rubbish. Plastic. Typical Trinies. A lot of rubbish. So we're trying to see, stop the littering, guys. And I'm gonna try to pick up this rubbish because it's covered with scat. And this is Kobo 
and these type of toxic birds so i don't want to get infection i don't have gloves and i don't have garbage bags but nonetheless i have the shoes so this is what the this is what the island looks like Guys, just touched down on the second island, the five island journey. This is really a nice place. But this is a small cove on the island and it's uninhabited by humans. And we basically have a lot of birds, we have a lot of um, pelicans, seagulls, um, small fishes, and that kind of thing. And the cove is really. It's empty basically, but it's a really, really, really nice place. And we're going to do some exploration in the islands. We're going to see what it has to offer. And then we're going to, if there's anything important, we'll share it with you all. So stay tuned, Dre TV. You know, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, grab your family, grab your gears, jump on an adventure, come out and enjoy it for yourself. This is Dre TV signing out. So we're just walking up some stairs. We're going to go look around. We lodged our kayaks down there and we're going to take a look. You see? I think you'll see hiking trails on these islands. Yeah. I'll see up here is a nice spot just to relax. Get away from the bustle in life. Be safe.
Ahí va acá, sí. So guys, while you're walking here, it looks sort of like the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> so it's basically, you're walking in the wilderness. So, just taking a little walk down some stairs. Right guys, so this is the connector between both islands. So on low tide like today, you will see this connection between the islands. On a high tide, you would not see it. Alright guys, so we just got to the back of the island and this is, believe it or not, a walk path between both islands. It's a bit slippery because on a high tide, this is usually covered up. So this walks from one island to the next island. So we're just traveling across it to see where it leads. It's now wise to run boats through here because of course the ground hmm. so they basically come into this rock structure and if you look at this rock structure there's a bottle in the rock this bottle probably was here before I was born. I'm 33 years old. So this rock has a bottle in it. Stick that bottle. Alright, so guys, on Dre TV Adventures, you'll always see some animal featured, right? So this is just a, a clam about Jesse just found there and he's gonna try to open it. Empty clam. Oh gosh. Somebody beat us to the treasure now. There's a small itsy bitsy little pool there, but there's nothing really. I don't think that would much. Mm -hmm. Small pool. But nonetheless, we were just. I guess we came right after. Yeah, imagine if I'd be real nice.
So guys, this is one of the islands and it's called Nelson Island and it is a national heritage site and we want to try to see if we could go onto the island we have seen a small well, house like shack like structure like thing there and um, we have crews and stuff hanging there a couple of dogs on the island so there's some form of human life there so we're going to see whether it is possible for us to go capture some footage on this island and if we see like maybe a housekeeper we'll try to figure out some history and what it is currently used for right now so guys we just touched down on the nelson island i'm just going to do a quick walk on the jetty and uh, this is a little jetty that is at the nelson island we have a small step this is used for boats Lodging boats. This is the view of the Shagaramas area from the island, guys. So, this is the first island we went to, this is the second island we went to. Well, basically second in the back there, third in the end there. We didn't really go to this one. We are Nelson now. And there's the next one across there. But we wouldn't really go to that one because it, Nelson really is the island to be at, right? So there, as I said, this is a national heritage site. And I'm going to give you first-hand footage of what this island has to offer. Now remember, this is a small island off the coast of Shagaramas. This is right outside Alcoa and it's a national heritage site as you can see i'm just going to bring you up to date in terms of the history on the island right So guys, based on the reading is that um, these are used for capturing fresh water from the roofs on the island. And there are a couple other signs around the island. Um, this sign in particular was really interesting. The hospital was used to care for those indentured workers who arrived sick from the long journey. Now these people would have come from India and in those days they're coming on boat, right? So you have these ledgers in, um, this is paper, this would be ink. Um, hospital, for example, this one looks like Moor Singh, Danny. Um, this is male, 22, 5 foot 11, male, 23, 5 foot 4, male, 28, 5 foot 7, female, 24, 4 foot 11 and a half, female, 20, 4 foot, boy, 1, wow. So, this person, Jaglio, was a boy, he was one year old, and he came in, he was in the hospital. So, there were people who were sick, so if you look at the age structures, they were all below 30, as young as one year old. And they were, they were basically in these ruins that would have been the hospital back in those days. Now, I'm standing where indentured workers would have come 
into the country um, to assist with building the country, to assist with working on the plantations and you know cultivating sugarcane, etc. Planting rice and of course overgrown look at the size of this tree and this tree is growing from the ground right a little bit of a you know shocking um, revelation in terms of the hospitals and the ages of the persons that came here back in the day um, you're looking at young boys young girls 24 28 a one-year-old boy wow um, of course they are long gone but this is really some good history um, for you to take note of and this is found on the Nelson Island in Chagramas um, back here would have been probably an entrance to the hospital I'm walking up here So guys, this is the mess hall and this is the dining area. Typical meals that we serve we basically what we now refer to as sadaruti and pumpkin or rice with curry. Very humble meals and the foundation of where we really came from in terms of building Trinidad and Tobago. Take you all to the registration area. This area was used for administration and there were a couple of papers need to be checked that all indentured workers were well documented before the transfer to the estate. Hi guys, this is Dre TV. So we are doing some exploration in Carnage, Trinidad and Tobago. We did some kayaking to the five islands and we are on Nelson Island, which is our final stop. Um, what we didn't realize is that we would have find the oldest standing roof structural building in Trinidad. Now this building behind me here has the inscription AD 1802 and of course based on the historical aspect there um, the building is of course still standing as you can see right the building is still standing there's a roof of course there are some modifications on the roof but nonetheless the building is still standing the original structure is still standing and this predates the roman catholic cathedral church in port of spain as well as the the royal drill in port of spain now i'm going to take you across to show you a little bit of the, the, the history of this building now this building was constructed by the english administration in 1797 built out of limestone cast mortar they were built by african slaves that were working on the um, the estates in those days and of course it bears the inscription AD 1802 which is clearly the oldest standing roof building in Port of Spain so in, in Trinidad in Trinidad in Trinidad so this year guys I'm touching and I'm showing you I'm bringing full footage of the oldest standing roof building in Trinidad you're not going to find it on the mainland you're going to find it on Nelson Island and Nelson Island is a heritage site in Chagaramas area of the coast of uh, basically of Alcoa and of course it's guarded by a couple of guys we got some permission to come and um, this is the structure here through the fields of our past feelings are always keeping us close but it's strange now Dreams holding us closer Meadows of our youth A hundred and seven days They're calling it backwards Our dreams holding us closer
lifting us higher.